Mm. Is it good? Oh, very good. Would you pay $250 for it? No, no. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey. 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 Uh. I'm Vaughn. I'm a video producer for NYT Cooking, and I love sugar, and I love the internet, and I've been spending a lot of time with um, both recently. I was kind of like digging through our recipe archives, and I came across this recipe for $250 cookies. The story, the folklore behind the cookie is that a woman was at lunch with her daughter at the Neiman Marcus Cafe, and they had these cookies at the end of their meal. The woman loved them so much that she asked the waitress for the recipe. When the waitress came back, she was like, that'll be $250. And the woman was like, great. And she looked at her credit card statement, blah, 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 it was $250. Anyways, it was a hoax. It was one of those chain emails. It was like, if you don't send this to 15,000 people in the next... The recipe was circulated around and it became known as these like revenge cookies because the woman to exact her revenge on Neiman Marcus was like, I'm gonna send your expensive recipe to all of my friends and they're gonna bake them for free. I'm gonna obviously test them for the sake of journalism. Do an IRL chain mail type thing where I get people to bake them and I'm gonna see what they think of them and I'm gonna see how much they would pay for them. And then I'm going to Venmo charge them. What? So I wanted to know a little bit more about these $250 cookies. Who would make this up? It's just weird. I guess, do you all have any insight as to how this thing got started or did it just transpire one day and you kind of had to ride the wave? That's Great question. Um, yes, it's an urban myth. And that all started, you know, probably the beginning of 95, when that chain letter went onto the internet. But we, yeah, there was zero versions here. We weren't even in the cookie business. Wow. And so now we have an official recipe. If your house fills up with the smell of baked cookies, everybody comes to the kitchen. So it's just, it's a way to just bring people together. We're all connected by the cookies. <laughs> How cute. Okay. This recipe is very simple. It's got 2,000 five-star ratings. So I've got very high hopes. Well, this is a really bad angle. I'm gonna start measing out all my ingredients. That's essentially just like getting them ready. Cool. It's a very pantry-friendly recipe. And if we didn't have everything on hand, we could, you know, switch some things out. Absolutely everywhere. Ooh, what a fun tracking shot. Cookies. Oh, okay. $250 cookies, no, to be exact. No, I mean, it's just like the name of the recipe. From like Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus $250. That was... Type Neiman Marcus cookies. Do you? Uh-huh. Where? In my list down there. So, anyway. Cool. Yeah. Was this in an email, perchance? No. No, I've had that. They printed it out and gave it to me probably over 25 years ago. What I've researched online says that the original recipe makes 110 cookies, and our recipe on the site makes 55. How many does that make? 110. Make, okay. No, this says makes 112. Ooh. Ooh, my recipe's better. <laughs> we do not need 112 cookies in this house, Mom. <laughs> Forgot to chop me nuts. a lot lighter in color. Just simply must scrape down the bowl. Look how like light and fluffy. Ooh. I did it. Okay. <clears throat> Got a teaspoon. It's hard to do this with one hand. <gasps> Oh no. Oh no. That sucks. I'm gonna save this 
and I'm going to find something else to do with it. <sighs> All right, we're doing it with one hand again. Scary. Pulse a few times. Aaron McDowell taught me this trick, a queen. Kind of prevents the flour from going everywhere. And that took like a few seconds because I don't want to over mix it. We don't want tough cookies. We've already dealt with enough tough cookies today. How's that for a POV shot? Grated Hershey's bars is a very weird concept to me, but I think it'll be nice to have like chocolatey dispersion throughout. Hey mom, mom. It's hard because they keep all flying. Oh, it's flying, breaking off. Use a big grater. What do you mean? Oh, they didn't have microplanes back then when this recipe came out. Do you think I should use a box grater? It will take less time. Here you go. What do you do when you get down to the nubbins? I get another candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> they cost so much because they have human flesh in them. That's it. <laughs> What'd you like for me to do it? See, it's hard. Okay. I'm just gonna uh, throw these little chunks in there. They'll be nice surprises. Ooh. Don't drop it. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Slicker down pig at the county fair. Is that an expression? <laughs> yeah, well, okay. it is now. Okay. The grated chocolate is like perfuming the batter, which is kind of nice. Little cookie. Yummington! Side note, I could not imagine doing 112 of these. I got 60 and they are, um, they're pretty heaping. I am gonna bake half of them and then I'm gonna bake the other half. And then I'm gonna eat them, hopefully not all of them. <laughs> the cookies are done. Floofy. Gorgeous, darling, just gorgeous. I'm gonna eat some and give you my unsolicited, well, no, I guess it's not unsolicited. No. I really relate to them. I'll pick this guy. They're good, it's a very good cookie. It's got like a nice nuttiness from the oat. Mom, you wanna eat a cookie? Sure. Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. How many did I eat? 60. Okay. Well, my hand, I like eat them more. I. <laughs> that is so delicious. Oh, yeah. Would you pay $250 for, the, for this recipe? No. Mm, no. I didn't pay $250 for the last one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. A nice treat. Can yeah. I eat it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Dinner. That's what's for dinner. I'm not gonna take my blood sugar. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. A little crunchy on the outside, very chewy on the inside. Awesome. Oh, good. Wow. I need to stop eating these cookies. <laughs> I'm gonna send the recipe to some of my friends and see how they like them. Just keep the love going via baked goods. Bye. Oh, yeah, I get everybody you. in there. Oh, you're not in. Oh yeah. So this is like an oatmeal cookie in a little black dress. Oh my god. Mmm! <laughs> yeah, right. We love it. <laughs> Come out great. The grated chocolate in here is really good. So we have 37 because I ate so much of the dough. Yeah, I've been averaging like six or seven cookies a day. I would say. They're really good. Vaughn, this is a lot of cookies. Vaughn, so 35 yeah. more cookies. If we can't feel connected in person, we might as well feel connected through like a shared activity. Yeah, During a time of quarantine. It's kind of cool to get a bunch of people baking all the same thing. Cheers. Cheers. Considering I haven't baked since I was like 10, this is exciting. Tommy Ben's just a little girl that we were baking cookies together and um, little girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Would you pay $250 for this cookie? Absolutely not. Love me some vengeance cookies. How drunk was I? <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty good. I, I got like a batch, like a big batch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How was the grading of the chocolate? 
That's a major pain in the ass. Ultimately baking, it makes me feel connected to people and it makes me really thankful and grateful for the people <laughs> that I have in my life that I can share in that love with. You definitely can't put a price on that. I hope you guys find some recipes that inspire you to do the same. Maybe it's this recipe, maybe it's another one, but regardless, happy baking. Aw, there's nothing better. Wait, can I tell you um, that I had a very successful chain letter that I wrote back in the MySpace days about a spooky man named Orville who lived in people's closets. And it took off. I gotta say, that was my first moment of viral success. <laughs> Once I got a taste, I couldn't quit it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha